Hello, everybody. Good Wednesday afternoon. Welcome to Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. We are getting everything loaded as usual, uh, as we always do, getting things up and going for you. Got a wonderful, wonderful show for you today. Uh, we've actually got a poll question. We got some things we want you to participate in with us. Uh, got some great information for you. As always, go ahead while we're getting everything loaded up here uh, on our end. Go ahead and be liking, sharing, sending that out across Facebook. Put it in different groups that you need it in. Uh, we want a lot of viewers today. Got some great information. Again, got a poll question for you that we're going to be giving to you today here on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. The number one, by the way, real estate show in the country. <laughs> Coming right. to you from Morristown, Tennessee. So we're having a good time. We're going to have a good time on our show today. So go ahead, like, share our video on Facebook. Invite everybody that you can. Go down to your friends list and invite, invite, invite. Get everybody watching this show today. We'll be back on the other side of this introduction. And we're going to be bringing you again Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by today Elite Realty Group. We will be right back on the other side for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Mike Elkins here, host of Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group with my co-host and my brother, Dave Elkins, coming to you here today from Elite Realty Group. Got some wonderful, wonderful information we're going to be talking about with you today on the show. The topic of the show today is, we're going to talk about, Dave, the costly mistakes. We see this happen a lot. The costly mistakes that people make when they're trying to sell their home without a real estate agent. We see people make a lot of mistakes when they do this. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be giving you some tips today, some things that you can look at on your side, on your end, to make sure you don't make these mistakes. As always, we want you to like and share our video on Facebook. Like and share that so everybody can get on and watch it today. Speaking of watching... Man, we had a great viewer audience last week. Oh, we did. Great participation. We had great participation. Gave away circus tickets last week. Yep. Gave away that. Let's put Sean's picture up. Sean, we told you we would be showing you. Here's Sean. Sean Ray from here in Morristown. He was the closest last week to guessing the total number of closings that Elite Realty Group has he had here today. Two. He was only off by two. So, Sean, good. you're either lucky or good. One, maybe a little bit of both. But he won the tickets last week, came in right after the show, and got those tickets. So, again, it's a uh, uh, we're going to be doing some good things like that from here on out. We're going to be doing some things, giving away some stuff, some circus tickets, maybe this, maybe that. It's hard telling. But for today, um, we're going to be talking about the mistakes that people make when they're trying to, again, sell their house by their self. But... Let's talk a little bit about what happened this past week. Uh, we were going to go live, by the way, from the ball game. We went to the ball game Monday night. Yeah. And we were going to go live from the ball game, but honestly, when we got inside, it was chaos. <laughs> was it crazy or what? It was chaos in there, yeah. We don't know if it was like because it was the first football game, everybody was just wild. If it was indoors, where it was out of the concrete, I don't know what it was, but it sounded like we was in a. Like we was at the stock market or something. Man. It was <laughs> yeah. just. When we were sitting there waiting for the game to start, People that were actually out in the hallways by the concession stand, it sounded like there was a ball game going on out there yeah. because they were so loud. But it was a it was a really nice stadium. Oh, man, it was yeah. first class, top yeah. of the line. Yeah, it was. It great. was very, very, very nice. Um, great amenities. They had a lot of good stuff. Great views from the seats. I don't think there's a bad seat in the place. No. Easy to get to, right by the Georgia Dome. If you've been down there, I say we've been to what uh, Nashville now. Tampa Bay. Yeah. 
uh, uh, Jacksonville. Jacksonville, and mm-hmm. by far blows, it yeah. blows them out. For the NFL, yeah. Yeah. by far, the best stadium we've ever seen. So it was really good. If you get a chance to go down and watch the Falcons play there, maybe we'll be back in December for the championship game. Nice. That's kind of what we're hoping for. But great food. Oh, yeah. Great food. Yeah, the food was great. Had everything. Yes. They had everything you could think of that you'd want to eat. Speaking of food, speaking of food, here's the poll question we have for you this week. We want your help on this question. All right? Here's our poll question. We were talking about this, about this today. Do you think in our area is growing? There's a lot of, uh, of restaurants and a lot of uh, businesses and so on and so forth coming our way. Do you do you guys think we've got too many restaurants? What what are what are your guys' thoughts? Yeah, too I, many restaurants. I actually heard somebody say that that we had too many restaurants. Now, how could they say about that about the too many restaurants? What, uh, do, you, I don't what know. do you think? I don't so, know. So, um, so what what you want to see is is you want to look at the the restaurants for the people. Of course, you want to have enough for the people, yeah. right? You want to have totally enough for the people. So. Um, as long as as long as there's enough restaurants, should be able to get in, get out pretty quick. So could you really have too many restaurants? I don't think you have too many. Yeah, I don't know that you could. I think we're missing a few. Yeah, I think we are too. So what do you guys think? We've got too many restaurants. We've got too much going on, too many restaurants around here, or, or what is it? But also, if you don't think we got too many restaurants... What do you think about uh, what kind of restaurants would you like to see? What do we need? Do yeah. we have what you want to eat? That's right. right. That's right. Do we have what you want to eat in the town? So if not, let us know. Let us know what you think. It's a poll question. We was having this conversation. We love to eat. Yeah. We was having this conversation in the office today, so we thought, hey, let's put this out there and let our viewers, our over 12,000 viewers again last week, strong, watching our video uh, tell us what you think about that. Great show today. Great show today. Lots of information. Like and share our video on Facebook. Like and share it with your friends. Invite your friends. Invite your family. The number one real estate show in the nation. We're going to say that. So maybe not. I read something the other day. It takes us like, what, a, two seconds to share that video. So yeah. I mean, please, if you would share it. It don't uh, it don't hurt you. So Absolutely. Share that for us. Like and share the video for us. We would really, really, really appreciate you doing that. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about the mistakes that people make when they're trying to sell their home without a real estate agent. You totally can do it without a real estate agent. Yeah, you can. But avoid making these mistakes today, and hopefully, you know, you'll be able to get your home sold. So we're going to be talking about that. Got a lot of things at the home of the week coming up, the area happenings coming up. Like and share our page on Facebook. Call in today, 423-307-8566. Call in, ask questions, whatever you would want to do there. And again, great show today. We're going to go to a short commercial break. We will be right back right on the other side of this commercial break with Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. And today we're talking about the costly mistakes that people make when they're selling their home by themselves. We will be right back on the other side of this short commercial break. Are you a real estate agent in the Lakeway area looking to take your business to the next level? If so, Elite Realty Group in Morristown, Tennessee is the place for you. We pride ourselves on agent support through training, teaching, and coaching. Agents the knowledge the best they can be. You owe it to yourself to explore this opportunity to see what awaits for you. Your success is at your fingertips. For a confidential meeting, call or text me today. Michael Elkins at Elite Realty Group, 423-748-5327. I look forward to answering your questions and assisting you on your journey to the top. Welcome back, everybody. Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group coming to you here today. I'm your host, Mike Elkins. My co-host, Dave Elkins. Like and share our video on Facebook. We're getting some likes and shares now. We're getting that. Absolutely. We're going. 
So you're you're with us today, liking and sharing all of our things on Facebook. Continue to do that. Our poll question today, do you think we have too many restaurants in the area? A lot of things coming and going here. What do you think about that? Do we have too many? Uh, you know, what what's up about that? Do you think that we need more? If you think we need more, what yeah. kind do you think that we need? So let us know those kind of things. Again, but we're talking today about the costly mistakes that people make when they're selling their house by their self. We want to give you some information today how you can prevent yourself from making these costly mistakes. Now, here's a lot of things. We're us being in the real estate business. We see a lot of people trying to sell their house. Exactly. We help a lot of people trying to sell their house. Right. So, you know, we kind of see things and are able to observe the good, the bad, the ugly, and the indifferent about what's happening in things in real estate. So again, talking today about the costly mistakes we see people make um, when they're trying to sell their house without an agent. Here's what I will say. I'll start, I'll kick this off. Again, we're taking your questions and your calls today. Let's, uh, right. let's just ask, uh, we're getting, it says your mic's echoing. Oh. Is, is anybody hearing his mic echo and we just want to make sure we're not talking to, uh, that you can hear us good, so. Yeah. Let us know, is my mic echoing bad? If so, I'll unplug it, and I'll talk to Dave. So let us know on here if my mic is echoing too bad or if it's somebody. We're getting we're getting blew up here by our family saying I'm echoing. So if I am, let me know. We don't want you to sit here and listen to me echo, echo, echo. That was just a joke. Um, but we want to make sure that I'm not doing that also. So let us know, Am I is my mic echoing? That's poll question number two today. Yeah, that's right. So is my mic echoing? Let us know about that. Um Here's what, again, we're talking about. The mistakes people make when they're trying to sell their house without a real estate agent. Let me get that going. Um, we see, I see, um, okay, I'm getting, he is echoing, but not too bad. All right, so let's do this. Here we go. Let's see if I'm echoing now, because I unplugged my mic. So here we go. The costly mistakes people make when trying to sell without an agent. Number one, I think the biggest mistake I see, you tell me, the biggest mistake that I see people make is they price their house the wrong way. Always comes back to price, don't yeah. it? It, always comes. it never, ever fails that they price their house wrong. Now, I don't, I don't know why that is. I don't know... Uh, you know, I don't know if they're emotionally attached to it. Again, they raised their family there. They've made memories there. We talked about how to price it the right way, right way last week. Right. So hopefully we, we ain't going to revisit that, but, but hopefully you watch that. But again, this is a huge mistake. Again, I tell everybody, Dave, we try to tell everybody two things. There's two things that sell houses, right? Price and marketing. So it's very, very important you get those right. Would yeah, you agree? exactly, yeah. So what, are, what, what what do you think it is, people, about pricing their house too high? I wonder, wonder why they do that. I think a lot of people just don't know. You know, I mean, like I said, we, we talked about all this last week as far as, you know, how to do it right. But I think a lot of it, actually, Dad was talking to a for sale owner today. And, uh, you know, the guy said, Dad asked him, said, how did you come up with your price? And he said, I mean, I, I really just throwed something out yeah, there. Yeah, just took it out. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, it, I think people, I think, you know, they try to do a little bit of research, but I think sure. ultimately they just go with the gut. You well, know? Yeah, I think so too. And I think a lot of it is they know what they gave for it. Right. You know, they paid, they're paying for it or have already paid for it. So, you know, you've got that information. But I think also, you know, they just, again, go by their gut. This is what I paid for. This is what I've got in it. Right. This is what I need to have out of it that's going to make me move. But those, that ain't always the right way. No. You know, that ain't always the right way. So I would say, I would say again, just going out on the limb here, that is probably the number one reason that I see the biggest mistake people make. Yeah. By far. Yeah. So what about you? What, what, do, you, what do you think? What's some things that you, you're out in the field more than I am. I'm, I'm in the office more than Dave is. Dave's out in the field a whole lot more than me. So what, what do you see about some, what do you think? I think one of the biggest things is uh, is that people just don't make that time commitment. You know, people want to sell their house themselves. Mm -hmm. Sure. But most people, I would say most people have a job. Oh, and yeah. Most people work day shift, uh, second shift, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so I think that, that, you know, most people don't want to take the time themselves. Because, you know, buyers these days, they want stuff now. Instant. We're the, uh, yeah. what do they call that? The, uh, we're the microwave, microwave society. Yeah, we want microwave. stuff right now. We want right. the information right now. So most of the time when they see your house, they want to come see it now. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. if you're going to work, mm-hmm. you know, if you miss that phone call. Right. Um, that's great. That, could I, be missing your whole sale. That's true. Um, you got to think about, you know, again, you're probably got a sign in the yard. There's mm-hmm. probably a sign in the yard. Probably got your phone number on it. You may have even done something online. You know, there may be some kind of advertising that you put out online. Not sure of that. But if someone's calling or someone stops by, again, we do live in an instant society. That, that's probably one of the truest statements I've heard about our business is we live in an instant. Everybody wants it right. now. You know, right. They want to see it now. They want to go now. They want to hear it now. They want the info right there read, readily you know, accessible to them. So the time commitment part of it, I've never really went that deep into it. But I would see the time commitment part of it being a big thing. Ask yourself if you're trying to sell your house. Am I available to show it? Am I available to answer the phone calls? Am I available to get these things done when a potential buyer would be coming by? Yeah. The magic right. question is when they coming by. Yeah. That, that's what you don't know, right? Mm-hmm. So again, and that's not anything that a seller's done wrong, but they got to work. Right. So they're just working and taking care of their family and, and their kids and all that. and. It just kind of happens. So I would agree that's a very costly mistake. If you miss a deal, that's costly, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know this, but I would say a lot of those, because, you know, we're, we're real estate agents, so we get calls about houses that we have on the market to sell. Sure. A lot of times you get these calls and people want to know, you know, will you rent it, stuff right. like that. So I'm sure there's times when these for sale by owners, you know, they their phone's getting blowed up. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean... Yeah. Uh, by everything. By everything. The biggest thing that we see that a lot of calls, I can't tell you, I'm going to say probably just about on every listing we get, is will they do owner finance? Yeah. Everybody's wanting to know about owner finance. So probably if you're watching this video and you're a seller, you've probably done got asked that question many times, especially if you're trying to sell your house by yourself. But again, the mistake is not being available to answer those phone calls, not being able to be there when those people need you to be there. Right. So on and so forth. So... Again, you know, that's very costly. The price, the pricing at Rome is costly because nobody comes and sees it. Right. You know, nobody will show up. Nobody can give you the money that you want for it, so they're not even going to come. You're going to get out beat. You're going to get beat out by somebody who's either got an agent or somebody who's took the liberty to make sure theirs is right. Same thing on, you know, you're just not there. Somebody's going to buy one that they can get in and see. Right. Because they're not going to see it if they don't. I mean, they're not going to buy it if they don't see it. <laughs> no, they got to get in to look yeah, at they it. Gotta they got to get in, there. and they got to get in on their time. That's the key. You know, the pe- a lot of times for oh, sale owners want everybody to fit their schedule. Oh yeah. So it's key that it's on their schedule. Totally working around what this buyer has to do. You know, again, and again, you miss a deal, you miss a call, you you really don't know. Again, when that's going to come, when it's going to happen. So you've got to pretty much be available all the time. Right. At least, you know, to be able to answer the question. One of the things that we do to try to help our listings, and, and agents do this, so this is what you're going to be competing against, is we use what we call a 24-hour talking ad. Right. And, and again, we don't answer our phones 24-7 either. Right. You know, but somebody does. Yeah. Something answers that call. And again... If they're calling, what, what do you think they're calling to want to know? How much? How much is this house? This yeah. the first thing we talked about. How much is this? How many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? All of that stuff. So we have technology available to us right. as agents that, you know, we're able to get this information out there. Right. right. So, you know, you're competing against that. Again, somebody's going to call and buy a house that they can get in and they can see and they can get the information out. So that's number two. You know, they just, they can't, what do you say, can't make time commitment for it? That's right, they just don't make the time commitment. They want to sell, they want to sell yeah. their self, yeah. but they just don't make that true commitment where they're going to say, you know what, okay, I'm going to be available all day this Saturday or whatever, whenever, I agree. to show my house. I agree. Another one that I think, uh, again, I'm, pr- I'm, a, I'm a technical guy, I guess you'd say, price, but I said price and marketing sell the houses, mm-hmm. all right? So I'm going I'm to say I see a big mistake in marketing. It's a, true. A big mistake. 
And one of the biggest mistakes that I see, because again, we try to call for sale by owners a lot of times and help them, because right. we 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 see these mistakes. Mm-hmm. So we want to we want we call a lot of time to try to help them. But I see a lot of bad pictures. There's a, there's a lot of bad pictures out there. I mean, just not even really giving the true depiction. I guess that's the word of what the house even looks like. Yeah. You yeah, know, would you agree? I, I agree. Yeah, I mean, beds not made, dishes in the sink, you know, stuff. other things on the floor. Yeah, I mean, the family dog, the dogs in the picture. Yeah, yeah, it's you see that a lot. Yeah, I, I think you see that, and again, people are going to perceive they're going to get a perception of your house on the picture that you put out there. Those pictures are very important. It's going to probably, would you agree, it's going to probably either get them to want to come and see more or, ah, yeah, that there looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the flip bad. side, I've heard people say, you know, uh, there's not enough pictures. Sure. They didn't take no pictures of the inside. What's right. wrong? Yes. Uh, so, I mean, everything, kind of when you put your house out there, you're... I mean, it, it's you're going to get criticism oh, yeah. from what kind of whatever you do. But what I'm saying is, if you want to, you got to have it right when it goes. When it goes, no matter if that's listing with an agent, no matter if that's yes. doing it by yourself, because again, you're getting that most exposure in the first thirty days. I think we said in the first yes. video. Yes. But really, even that, the first couple days, because everybody's getting notifications. Absolutely. Whether it's from a realtor, Zillow, yes. Realtor dot com, whatever, everybody's getting these notifications instantly. Yes. So if yours don't hit them on that first go round, yes, you're just gonna get shuffled to the back of the line, totally. And the next notification they get could be the one. Well, and you know we we're now drones are huge right now. You know, yes. if, if if you ain't got a drone, people's like, well, what? I can't even see what's around it. Drones, the the high tech cameras, you know, yeah. the different lighting, um, you know. So so many people are doing it, doing again those good professional looking photography. The drone marketing, the video marketing, right. you know, again, and, and I say this a lot, and, and I think people miss it, but you're in competition. I mean, you know, if you're trying to sell your house, so are 2,000 other people in our area, not counting the for sale by owners. Exactly. So, you know, people are going to see and look, again, that, that picture, man, it, it's going to be what people make their decision. Mm-hmm. Do I call and get more info? Right. Do I drive by and find this house? They're going to arrive at that decision from those pictures. Right. So I, I think we see that a lot. And as a for sale by owner, like you said, that's kind of one of their mistakes because most of the time, if you got an agent, a good agent, sure, they're going to make they're sure going to they're going to tell you that right out of the hole. Okay, we got to have these pictures right. Yeah. But for sale by owner, you don't. Nobody's there to tell you. No. That. And and they're going to do that. They're going to make sure that the pictures get took right. Right. So you know, again, that's that's some of the mistakes that we see. Those make so. What, what about one more? Give us one more. Uh, I would say another big one is again, like you just said, we we try to help these people. Sure. You know, we try to help. Uh, it helps us, and it it helps them in return. But you don't see a lot of that, or you're seeing it more common that they don't even want to cooperate. And I call people a lot, or call a call a for sale by owner, and say, "Would you cooperate with a real estate agent?" Sure. A lot of them don't want to. Right. Now, I mean, that. Tell, I mean, explain that more by what you're saying about cooperate. When I say cooperate, I mean, and if I have a buyer, okay, let's sure. think about this for a minute. I'm in the profession where I buy and sell houses, okay? Right. I got buyers. Or I you got know sellers. people. You know, yeah. 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 I got buyers. I work with buyers, work with sellers. Right. So if I have somebody who might be interested in your house and you was trying to sell it. Right. It would just make sense that we need to talk to each other. Absolutely. <laughs> that would make sense. If I, I know somebody agree. looking yes. and you want to sell. Yes, I totally agree. We might already, we might already have a conversation. Yeah, least, we might right? already talk about this. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So you're saying a lot of people won't even talk to you about it. A lot of people say, I just want to I, I want to sell it myself. Sure. I want to handle it. I don't know if that's a pride thing or. Right. Um, but, I mean, because, you know, most of the time there's a, there's a, you're the numbers guy, not really me, but. There's uh, some kind of statistic out there that says that you know a lot of for sale owners actually even sell their house 
there's a percentage of them that still have to use a realtor. Oh, yeah. Whether that's using them just as a buyer's sure. agent or what. Yeah. But there is also a statistic that says they, they sell for less money. They do, yeah. And I, and I think a lot of it is because of what we're talking about here today. Right. They're seeing those, they're, they're, we see the mistakes again that they make. And so you don't get the money that you need, you know, out of your house. But here's what I say. I say what, I, you know, I agree with what you're saying. Um one of the things, you know, we've got an inventory shortage right here in our area right yes, now. Yes, we do. Yeah. An inventory shortage in our area. So we're looking outside of the box. Right. We're looking outside of the MLS, trying to get over into the people that's trying to sell their houses by themselves. And again, if we've got people that are wanting to buy what you have, I'd highly suggest that you have, the, that was a great word, by the way, have a conversation. Yeah, about, let's just talk. You know, I mean. <laughs> have a conversation about it. And see again if we have somebody, we may already have somebody looking in that price range and area for the house. <clears throat> we do because you know there, I had another one, but we can't. We don't want to go out down all these roads and take up a lot of time. But um, I mean, that's one of our things that we do that I think a for sale by owner don't do is we kind of qualify our buyers. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, so we kind of we kind of know. Uh, you know, we know what we got. Yes, this you is what, what they mean? want. This is what the price yeah. they want to spend. They can buy it. Right. They actually can buy this house. Yeah. So we try to get all that work done up front. It saves us time and anybody else time that we got to deal with in the whole transaction. I'd agree with that. Right. I'm, They're taking a phone call from somebody. Yes. We've usually got that. We've usually got somebody's. Yes. The, we've we've, got, we've got clients that yes. are looking. So I totally agree. I if totally we can agree. figure out the price, and if that's what they're looking for, we might be able to make something happen. I totally agree. And so, you know, again, these are just common mistakes yeah. that we see people make. And to keep you from making those mistakes, don't do these things, right? Don't yeah. do them. Don't price your house too high. Make sure you do cooperate. Again, there's a lot of there's a lot of help that's out there that's available to you yeah. on your pictures, on other things, on marketing, on working with buyers, agents, so on and so forth. There's a lot of things out there. So again, that's just some things that we see. Continue. Even as a for sale by owner, let me say this real fast, sure. but even as a for sale by owner, if you don't want to go down that road of listing right. with an agent or whatever, call call one of them yeah, and pick exactly. their brain. This yeah. is what they do. Yeah. We list houses, we sell yeah. houses, we have people buying houses. So I mean, pick their brain, ask them, hey, can you take a look at my pictures? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you see something wrong? Evaluate me. Yeah, right? yeah. Evaluate so take. Me. I'm trying to sell my house. It's it don't cost you money to talk to. I don't know. You know. Uh, I don't know any agents that wouldn't talk to you if you call. Exactly. Right. Yeah. They're gonna call. Four two three three zero seven eight five six six. You can call here and talk we'll to anybody. Talk to yeah. Yeah. Call and talk to us about it. So again, that's just things that are out there that's readily available to you. So be be conscious and don't make these mistakes. You know, don't right. don't look at these. So. Uh, again, hope that that's been some good information for you. Continue. Like and share our Facebook page. Like and share our Facebook page. Had a little bit of technical difficulties today. I'm not plugged in no more, so everybody says I'm not echoing. Yeah, okay. So I'll say, are we not making echoing? Making sure we do that. We're not done yet. We're taking your questions and your calls. Please here. share. We need some shares. I don't know if I'm seeing this right, but I think we've got four shares. So we need everybody yeah. who's watching to give us a share or a thumbs up. Like and something share. right now. Like and share a video on Facebook. A little bit of technical difficulty today, but we're working through that. We don't let that stop us. That's right. The number one real estate show in the country. <laughs> That's right. We're not going to let that stop us. So it's going to take more than that. The internet had to go down or something before we would stop. But taking your questions, calls, 423-307-8566, questions on Facebook. Oh, I see them now. Now yeah. we're going. Now we're getting likes. Now we're getting shares. Yeah. Very, very good. Thank you again for doing that. Get this info out. Hey, last week, I don't know if I said, I didn't say this, but I'm going to tell you again. We had over 12,000 It was people. bigger than last, than the first bigger week. Bigger than the first week. Yeah. That's why we're calling ourselves the number one real estate that's right. show. Don't ask us where we got those statistics. Yeah, yeah. We made those up. <laughs> so that's what's what we, we said we want to right now, right? That's right. So number one show in the country. And we're glad that you are tuned in today, spending your lunchtime with us. Here at Elite Realty Group on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. We're going to take a short break. We're going to be right back on the other side of this break to talk about some happenings here in the Lakeway area. We're going to talk to you about the home of the week. We're going to give you some information on a great home. Got a great home for you to see today. Some Lakeway area happenings. Again, thank you. Continue to like and share and thumbs up and love us and all that good stuff on Facebook. We really appreciate you all spending your lunch hour with us today. We'll be right back.
On the other side of this short commercial break, Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, Mike and Dave Elkins from Elite Realty Group. We will be right back. Are you frustrated in your home search? If so, allow one of our agents at Elite Realty Group to assist you. Our home buying specialists will help you find the best home for your needs, negotiate the lowest price, secure the best financing, and meet your home buying needs with the least amount of hassle. Our home buying system focuses on your needs to ensure that you find the best home at the lowest price available to you. We will find out how much home you can afford by helping you get home loan pre-approval. We will send you information on homes that match your criteria using our unique buyer's profile service, along with helping you get the information you want through our specialized knowledge. Each step of the way, we will be there for you, and all of these services are free of charge. To allow one of our agents to assist you today, call us at Elite Realty Group, 423-307-8566. We look forward to helping you and your family find your dream home. And we are back. We're back. Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Talking to you today. We've talked about costly mistakes. Things that cost you money. Try. Costly mistakes that we see people make when they're trying to sell their home without a real estate agent, some great information talked about today. Our poll question, if you've not, if you've just got on recently, we're asking a poll question today. Got a lot of, uh, of uh, information about that. What do you think about the area? We got too much stuff to eat. We got too many restaurants around here. Or do we need more? If you think we need more, yeah, tell, tell us what, what you we think need. we need. What do you think we need here? Again, talking about the costly mistakes people make when trying to sell their house by themselves. Hope that was some good information for you today. Now it's time to talk and give you some more good information about our Elite Realty Group Home of the Week. We want you to like and share this home that you're going to see here in just a minute. Dave's going to take over. Again, we had over 12,000 people. 12, that again. people. We had over 12,000 people. Yeah. So 24,000 plus in the last two weeks that's watched our video. So again, a lot of that is thanks to you guys liking and sharing. Yes. So again, help us out and continue. Well, let me stop you. There ain't a lot of that contributed to them. That's contributed to you, the people. Exactly. Liking and sharing our video on Facebook. So we really, really appreciate that. Continue to do that today. I'm going to shut up now. Dave's going to take over. He's going to tell you about our uh, uh, elite realty group. Home of the week. Take it over, Dave. All right. So today uh, we're going to talk about a... Uh, a fixer upper house okay a lot of people's in that market you know to uh to buy some investment property or even just to get them a you know a, a cheaper home for themselves that they can fix up so today we're going to talk about uh kim's listing it's at 3523 uh elwood drive in morristown that's a three bedroom two bath double wide uh it's 1140 square feet sitting on almost a half acre lot uh, that's completely fenced. It does have, a, you know, the lot is probably uh, one of the great things about it. I mean, again, it, it, the house definitely needs some work. Uh, it's a double wide, so uh, but this is a cash only deal. So uh, you know, it's kind of aimed more towards those investors. So it's not, uh, it's just not eligible for any for any financing. So again, if you uh, would want more information about that, call Kim. Yes. Her number is uh, 423-312-8251, and she would be happy to talk to you about that. Absolutely. Call or text. That's a, that's a cell phone. Yeah, that's call or text yeah. get the information about that. What was the price? 32000 32000 Fixer yeah. Upper, east side of Morristown. Great location. Yeah. Great location. Don't know if you said that. Yeah. Great location. So, again, call if you want more information about that house. Kim will be glad to give you that uh, information. So, again... Uh, 3523 Elwood Drive. So we're getting uh, some feedback here. I got, I got a couple things I want to look down here at. About uh, uh, Bryce says we need less fast food and more sit down restaurants. Yeah. I, I agree with that. I totally yeah. agree with that. Andrew Meyer says too much of the same stuff. Too much. I, I would agree with that too. So, uh, you know, again, keep coming. What do you think about the restaurant selection here? We got too many. 
we don't have enough, if we don't have enough, what would you like to see for us to get um, here in this area? Now, uh, you know, again, there's a lot of things, kind of, a lot of new stuff's happened here lately. Yeah. The only thing I worry about that, and, and again, maybe this is me being a business person, uh, but I do worry about the mom and pops. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I worry about the mom and pop restaurants that's, you know, made a good living. I'm worried about maybe the change hurting them. But right. I don't think so because most of the ones that have survived at the They're established. Point, they got it. Yeah, they're you know, established. They got it. So what's going on in the area this weekend? Uh, let's what's see here. Happened here? Uh, we'll get to some football first, but uh, there is, let's see what day this is. There's uh, on Sunday, September the 10th. At Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, Masterpiece, a bluegrass group. I don't know if you've ever heard them. Mm. Uh, very good. They're very good. Uh, so that I um, got this off the Citizens Tribune here. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Masterpiece will be at Mount Zion. Where that's, is that? That's in actually in Rogersville. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. Uh, so that starts at 6 o'clock. Right. So uh, let's see here. What's going on football-wise? Football-wise, we know that the Vols are playing. I can go with that. Yeah, one. Indiana State, yes. Uh, coming to town. How about that win, by the way? Yeah. We How about, about the that? win? Boy, wasn't that something. Pulled yeah. it off in double overtime. Yeah, that was a miracle. Big stop. You know what, though? I'm going totally off here. What about the story? If you've not saw this story. Yeah, look that up. Look up this story on the internet. It, it's great. It's outstanding. I don't know. those For those of you watching the ball game, me and Dave was there. It's awesome, by the way. Me and Dave and my dad, we was there. Didn't get home till 4.30 in the morning yesterday, so we're a little bit tired. But the field goal that was being kicked. Yeah, the one that, going to, to, that was going to win the game for Georgia Tech. Three seconds left at the end of the fourth quarter. A guy, The guy that blocked it, his name is Paul Bain. Paul Bain. Paul Bain. Look on the internet and search the story for Paul Bain. It's a great, great story. He's a walk-on defensive lineman paying his own way he pays his own way to go to school he's not on a scholarship like a lot of them over there are he pays his own way but here's the killer part he he plays football he goes to school and he works two jobs two jobs two yeah. jobs and he stuck his big old hand up his he's big a, old paul now he's a big boy yeah big <laughs> he's a big dude block the field goal paul bain look at that outstanding story that's somebody that's got some determination oh yeah that's somebody that is going to make if he if he don't ever make it to the nfl he's going to make something out of his life right he's yeah. got determination so what's going on other than the balls four o'clock sec network on saturday what else is going on let's see this friday september the 8th at 7 30 campbell county's coming uh, to play Morristown East. Yes. Um, so go check that out. Morristown East got their first win last weekend. Yes, versus Cherokee. Cherokee. Yeah, yeah. Cherokee. Uh, let's see, uh, Morristown West is off this week. Um, Scott County comes to Granger County uh, at 7.30 Friday night. And Jefferson County goes to Carter right. at 7.30 as well. And Seymour comes to Cherokee at 7.30. Seymour to Cherokee. So yeah. a lot of things, again, going on around our area. Yeah, and support that, support that uh, high school football. Yeah. You know? yeah, it's great, man. Yeah. It's great. Uh, you, you can make friends. You can network, meet new people, uh, get out and see what's going on in the communities. We live in a great place. Boy, we, do, yeah. we live in a great place. I believe that. I love our town. I love our area. I love the whole Lakeway area. Love everything about it. And love you people yeah. for watching our video. We thank you so much. Blow us up, if you will. Help us blow up. We want to beat the first two weeks. First two weeks, we've been over 12,000 views on our videos. Now, not just this video, but we've been putting out the daily videos, too. Right. So that, I'm talking about all that. Over 12,000 views the first two weeks of looking totally inside of our real estate business. What do y'all think about that, by the way? Yeah. Looking inside, kind of seeing some things um, that goes on behind the doors of a real estate company. We just want to give access to you guys. So blow us up. Blow yeah. us up. Blow us up yeah. on Facebook. We can't likes do it without shares, your likes and shares. Loves. We cannot do this show without you. We wanted to do this show for you, but we can't do it without you. So, again, we thank you today for watching. Hope we've gave you some good information about costly mistakes people make, you know, when they're trying to sell their house. Man, we're going to blow it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching today. We will be back next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, 12 o'clock. 12 noon. We're competing against Butch today, <laughs> again, by the way. Butch press conference today. So we'll have my microphone fixed. Right now I'm unplugged. Yeah. So I know power right now. But we'll have that fixed by next week. 
Thank you for watching today. Continue. Still drinking water. Still, Still got that. Water. Like and share our video on Facebook. Invite your friends to watch that. We thank you for watching today. Until we are back again next Wednesday at 12 noon, I hope you get everything you want in life. And you're blessed beyond measure. We thank you for watching today. We'll see you next Wednesday at 12 noon. Thank and go Vols. Go Vols. Go Vols.